Hey, Max, what was it just kind of like in, in the dugout there when, when Trey hit that, that t- game tying hit and then obviously Max uh, capitalized there in the in extras? Yeah, uh, I was actually in the clubhouse uh, with all the guys, uh, you know, with all the pitchers I pitched. And, you know, we just had a good feeling about what was happening. We saw the momentum. Uh, we felt good about Trey at the plate. Um, we knew he loves it. You know, I was telling the guys, Trey loves hitting here. He's going to get it done. And uh, sure enough, he got it done. Uh, Sorry, he just able, not- was able to tie the game. And I was like, boys, we're going to win this one in extras. You know, and sure enough, you know, got a huge home run at Muncie. And then, you know, Blake shut the door. Obviously, in, in the standings, it's, it's a big win. But emotionally, how big is, is a win like this? You know, obviously, there's two outs, nobody on. I mean, you guys can kind of come come back and, and win this. Yeah, just to be down like this, down the ball game, uh, and, and down late, even even in the ninth inning, to find a way uh, to just keep scratching runs across. Uh, you, you know, in this park, offense is always going to happen. Uh, and give it credit to the rest of the guys. So they, they went out there, did their jobs. They kept grinding, found a way to just tie the game, and then uh, was able to do uh, big things there in, in extras. And so, um, you know, that, that's a sign of good offense. Uh, that no matter what the situation, even when you're facing the, you know, their best bullpen arms, you can still go out there and compete and find a way to score runs. And for you, what do you think of your outing? And kind of why is it so tough to kind of pitch here? Yeah, um, you know, today I, I, I just felt like pitching here. I haven't pitched here in a while uh, as a start. Um, I just wasn't able to get good grip of the ball. Um, you know, I was constantly searching how to get grip of the ball, but I was licking my hands a ton. I uh, just felt like I was making adjustments to try to get grip. I was kind of flying open to try to, uh, you know, find a way to, you know, grip the ball a little tighter and, and, you know, try to get feel for the baseball. I didn't have good feel for the baseball today. And, it, you know, it wasn't able to land curveballs the way I normally can. And, and, just kind of got sideways for me. Wasn't able to execute the way I normally execute. So uh, you learn from these outings. Uh, you know, this is the toughest place to pitch and you learn from it. If you can learn something from here, even when you fail, uh, then when you take it and you go somewhere else, uh, you know, these lessons can be applied to, you know, other outings. So um, sometimes when you get punched in the face, that's what it takes to, to go out there and learn how to do something new. Thanks, Max. Next question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Any other questions for Max? Go ahead, Kirsten. Hey, Max, not sure if you answered this, but with playing in Colorado here at Coors Field, I know it's been a while other than the All-Star game, but what were just some of the challenges that you faced with pitching out here? Yeah, I didn't have a problem with the, the shape of my pitches. I, you know, I said I have a problem with the grip. Um, I was constantly searching how to get grip, especially on my curveball. I didn't feel like I had a good curveball today. You know, I wasn't able to land for a strike. Um, and, you know, once you kind of lose feel for one pitch and you're, you're constantly searching uh, of what you want to do mechanically, what you want to do uh, to execute. And I got out of whack and, uh, you know, I paid prices for it. You know, I was giving up hits and, and you know, and unfortunately, I really gave up a homer in a bad spot. Uh, but, you know, you, this is this happens. You know, you, you know, you're never perfect. You know, so, so stuff like this happens, uh, especially if you pitch here. You know, that, that's the MO. Uh, you know, it's hard to pitch here. And for me, it was it was the grit. It uh, wasn't the, the shape of the pitches. And so. Uh, you just learn from it. You learn what you need to be able to do in these situations and uh, how to mechanically stay within yourself to, to be able to execute. So uh, as much as it stinks to go out there and give up five runs, and especially when the, you know, the, the offense goes out there and puts a three spot on there, uh, you, you, know, you, you feel good if you can go out there and put a zero up that you, know, you can get deep into a ball game. But unfortunately, that's not how it worked today. Uh, and then the bullpen was able to go out there and do a better job. Uh, they did a great job of going out there and throwing up zeros even when we're losing to keep it just a two run game. So that's what makes the team win. Uh, and that's why, you know, it feels good for this one to win. Next one's from Jorge Castillo, go ahead. Uh, Max, you mentioned being in the clubhouse late. Um, did you have your eye at all the, on the Giants Padres game and, and what's going on there, the back and forth there and the back and forth with you guys? No, I, I just worry about us. I think if we win, we win. That, that's how I approach it. You know, I, I'm not a big scoreboard watcher. T- not until there's a really a true magic number where you can actually quench or something like that. So uh, Trey and I joke, these guys have no idea what it's like to be in second place. So <laughs> you know, for us, we just know to put our nose in the dirt and just keep going forward. Thank you.